What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is such a long time coming. Like it literally is such a long time coming and I literally am still like unable to contain my excitement because I still can't believe it's finally here. Finally, this is the launch video for Dose of Colors X Mima Tang. I created two, I literally created two babies. I created two lip sets with Dose of Colors, which is amazing. I mean, you guys already know Dose of Colors lip formula is amazing. So I was able to come in and be like, let me show you guys what's also missing on the market and give you guys some really amazing lip shades. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. I am super excited for y'all to see this. You guys know how important it is for me creating products that don't exist on the market, especially for deeper skin tones. And I finally get to share them with the world, share them with all of you guys, and I'm so excited. I'm not gonna waste you guys time. You guys know what it is with me. I'm I'm not a long intro kind of girl. Let's just jump straight into these kits. We are in close. Y'all, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can get through, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this video, y'all. I really don't know how I'm gonna get through this video. This honestly has been so long in the making that I can't even remember when this like happened. It's been over two years, I know that's for sure. Pandemic definitely <laughs> slowed us down. So this is the shipping box. So when you open it up, it says, meant for you, lots of love, Mima. That was like my little message to you guys, like this is meant for you. You get this cute little fire ass, what do you call it, postcard, pamphlet, whatever, something. And it has all the details on the back. Ugh, y'all, this shot was everything. Video where I was telling you guys that um, a makeup artist did my makeup for a shoot and I couldn't release the photos yet. <laughs> I was like, dang, I can't show it yet. But now I can. There's two different kits. There's my nude kit and then there's my coral kit. We're just gonna run through this. I'm gonna tell you guys step by step, shade by shade, product by product. <laughs> how everything went down. Creating these kits was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like, yeah, I know exactly what's in my head because I knew what I wanted, but then I had to find references. And that was the hard part. Finding references for shades that don't exist really like that um, was very difficult. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. In the nude lip set, you get a lip liner, a matte liquid lipstick, a lip gloss, and a classic bullet. Lip liner, lip gloss, matte liquid lipstick, and then a traditional bullet lipstick. This was like one of the first ones that they sent me when production was finally finished, so it's been loved very well already. <laughs> all of my samples, I'm honestly completely almost used them all up because I've been using them behind the scenes. It's been so hard not using these lip sets. like. So the first one is the chocolate chip lip liner. This is what it looks like. I love this name. That's what it looks like. It's the perfect brown without pulling too red. There's no red, there's no purple. It's just literally perfection. When I announced this, a lot of you guys had already called it. Like you guys were like, holy crap, this is the perfect brown the perfect brown, like not red brown, not purple brown, just brown. And that is exactly what I wanted within, with this entire nude kit and nude set. When I saw you guys on Twitter actually already calling that out, I was like, you guys get it? Y'all get me, y'all get me? And I knew that you guys would because it is so hard trying to find a true brown that doesn't pull too red, that's also deep enough, like it's so hard. So I'm so glad that I was able to get this lip liner to look the way that it did. I'm telling you guys, this was the last thing that I finalized. This was the last product that I was like, this is it. I finalized it, go ahead, send it to production. I know I overextended the lab. <laughs> The lab was so patient with me. The entire dose team was so patient with me and I'm just truly so thankful because without their patience, I would not have been able to get this collab and these shades to where they are today. And I'm so thankful because like I said, I was sending them back and it's too red, still too red, still too red, still too red. And it's like, <laughs> Where are we going here, girl? I'm like, it's still too red, it's still too red. Full circle, knowing that like this is the final thing that I am, that I finalized, but it's also the first thing that I'm showing you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a cute swatch. The chocolate chip lip liner. 
So with the chocolate chip lip liner, the example that I sent in was actually an eyeliner. So I've been lining my lips with eyeliners pretty much this entire time. It's the little things that matter. It's the little things that you don't realize until you don't have them, you know? The fact that I've been using eyeliners, brown eyeliners, dark brown eyeliners to line my lips pretty much this entire time. Now it's a product that's actually labeled lip liner and it's it works, it's perfect. <laughs> so that's the chocolate chip lip liner. I really wanted the chocolate chip lip liner to work with the bullet lipstick. So this is the bullet lipstick. It is called Penny. I don't know, it just reminded me of a penny for some reason, so that's why I called it Penny. It is the perfect pop of like, brightness in the center to pair with the chocolate chip lip liner. It's a really nice formula. It glides really smoothly. It's super creamy, super pigmented. Um, so a little bit goes a long way. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, the kits have scents, which, ah. The nude set smells like chai, like the true traditional chai tea is like my favorite. With all the spices and everything, that's my favorite. When they told me that we could throw scents in here, I was like, can it, make, can it smell like chai? Like I wanted it to smell like chai so bad. So this is what Penny and the chocolate chip lip liner look like together. Like I said, I wanted them to just be perfect neutral shades. Like I didn't want them to lean too much to one side. I feel like whenever I look for a lipstick like this shade, it always was too peachy or a little bit too pinky. And I just feel like it was never the perfect neutral shade to pop into the center of my lip and give me this ombre effect, which it looks so good. Obviously a good chocolate brown lip liner that doesn't pull too red will always be needed in the kit, but I also wanted to give it something complimentary. So they can both be used separately, um, which I am obsessed with. I also like to use Penny whenever I'm using the matte liquid lipstick as well. And it's like, oh, they're so good together. This is just the perfect complimentary shade to the nude sets. That is those two together, I like I said. So good. So next for the nude set, we have the Ajen lip gloss. As most of you guys probably know, I am Nuer, I'm from South Sudan. Ajen and Nuer means like, that's it. And that is why I called this gloss Ajen because I was just like, that's it. Like after, when I finalized it, I was like, that's it. That is the only gloss that I will ever need again in this world, literally. That's how much I fell in love with this gloss and I was just like, literally looks like chocolate is just dripping from your lips. It is the perfect brown lip gloss. Oh. Mm. No. It is so good. Like I said, you guys don't know how hard it's been trying not to wear these shades. That is a gen. Also smells like chai. Oh. Next, we're going into the matte liquid lipstick. The name is Like To See It, which is funny because when I was thinking about this shade, I was describing like what kind of matte liquid lipstick I wanted because I've had some other matte liquid lipsticks that have been brown. Like the main one I can think of right now is like a L'Oreal. It's like 80% yum or some, I, it was some chocolate lipsticks that they came out with and it was still so red when I knew that I was doing this kit and I wanted a matte liquid lipstick was I wanted something that was a neutral brown that didn't pull too red that also was gonna go deep enough and like the only thing I could think of the entire time I was like describing what I wanted was the Monique meme that I would like to see it <laughs> and that's the only thing I could think of so when it came time to naming it I was like like to see it of course I would like to see it and here it is so this is like to see it fully dried down oh, so good, it feels very lightweight. All of these formulas, I really didn't change anything formula wise. I like Dose of Colors lip products and lip formulas, so none of the formulas have changed. Perfect, perfect, you guys. So that is the nude kit. I wanted to create a kit that really reflected my nude back to me, because nude for too long has always been like a shade. It's always had a shade because representation, duh, wasn't happening. So now to be able to put out a nude kit that reflects nude to me and reflects nude to like people with my skin tone and people with brown skin, it is really truly amazing. I'm super excited about that. And I think this kit is chocolate browns personified. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. Let us jump to the next kits. 
the coral kits, which I love so much as well. This is not a secondary thought or a secondary uh, kit. This is actually like when they told me that I was gonna do two kits, I was like, obviously I'm gonna do nude. I really sat down and I really wanted to think, okay, what is my second kit gonna be? There's pinks. There's purples, reds, which you guys know I love me a good red too, but when I thought about the idea of coral, these are actually my inspo images. A peachy coral that would like show up on my skin tone number one and then not show up ashy or pale. So I was just like, I should do a coral. Like I should do a coral and do it right. Get it pigmented, give it the perfect undertone that would look really amazing on deeper skin tones. I did that, okay? I did that. So that is my coral set. That's where the birth of my coral set came from. So let me go ahead and show you guys. This is what she looks like. We've got, like I said, a lip liner, liquid lipstick, lip gloss, and a bullet. So let's deep dive into the coral set. The coral set comes with the lip liner. It's called Amberish. So it's an amber colored lip liner and it really Really just complements all the other uh, products so you can use it with or without all the other products this is what it looks like I wanted it to be able to work with any of the lipsticks so you can use this with the liquid lipstick this set was the hardest set to pack the pigment into because it is so hard trying to get these lighter colors to show up on deeper skin tones when I say I packed the pigment into these like I definitely made sure that these were pigmented enough. So that is the liner, the amberish liner. I'm gonna go and talk about these two together because they're named in a specific way that they have to kind of like vibe together. <laughs> so this is the bow lipstick. I have two dogs. I have a dog named Zoe, which is my pretty girl. She's the older one. And then I have a dog named Bo. They are golden doodles. Originally I named one Bo first because of the orange shade. He's like a red orange color. But then I was like, I can't name one Bo and not have another one named Zoe. Like, they, they come together, they come together. So I named the Bullet Lipstick Bow. They're pretty much the exact same shade, just in different formulas. That's where those two names came from. This is what the Coral Lipstick looks like. You guys can't tell me that that is a stunning, oh y'all, look at this shade. This is, it swatched, y'all get into it. It's got a whole lot of pigment. This bullet lipstick specifically, it doesn't match formula wise to the nude bullet lipstick because in order to get this to show up the way that I wanted it to show up, we had to like put as much pigment into it. The more pigment you pack into a product, the more matte it is. So this bullet lipstick is just the slightest bit more matte than the other bullet. If it's just slightly more matte and gives me a little bit more pigment, I was down for that. And it's really not even that much more matte. If you have both sets, you will be able to tell the difference. Bow lipstick, this is what it looks like. The coral set actually smells like creamsicle. <laughs> it smells so good. I wanted a coral that didn't feel too intimidating in order to make it feel like it was a true coral, especially against my skin tone. I needed to add something to it. So we definitely added a little bit more red to it, but it presents coral on my skin tone and on my lips. <gasps> look at this, look at this. So pretty. I've never shied away from bright colors. Like I never have. So this is like, I love this, but I know a lot more people are not as comfortable with brighter colors, so I actually like to use the chocolate chip lip liner with this as well. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. Usually it's easier to do the lip liner first, but I wanted you guys to see what the lipstick looked like without the lip liner. This is what those two look like mixed together. Chocolate chip lip liner and the Bow Bullet lipstick. Spring, summer 2021, this is it. I also wanted like a brighter springy shade and this is definitely it. This was also, this is actually supposed to launch around the exact same time that it's launching now, but like last year. <laughs> Thankfully it actually came together well because I wanted to launch around this time because I also wanted it to have like a fun spring summer vibe and I'm obsessed. So next is the gloss. This is the gloss from the coral set. It's called sequins. Um, I don't know, for some reason it just reminded me of sequins like on a dress and I loved the shade. I wanted a gloss that would work on top of the nude set and on top of the coral set. So that is what sequins looks like right there. It's got purple, it's got a little bit of pink. It's very summer, very spring. And it also smells like creamsicle. This one has the most scent of creamsicle, obviously because it's more of a liquid formula. <laughs> Such a pretty gloss. I like to wear it with the faux lipstick and like just pop it right on top. It really just sets that coral off. Oh, so 
so that is that y'all stop can't tell me that this isn't it next we've got the liquid lipstick this is named zoe these are pretty much almost the exact same shade just in a completely different formula Ugh. Look at that, you guys. I love that this is the exact same shade, just in a different formula, because right now we are still wearing our mask, so I'm glad that this is a separate option if you guys didn't want to do the bullet lipstick for this specifically. Look at the material. So this is the Coral Liquid Lipstick on my lips. I colored outside the lines a little bit, so it's a little jaggedy. Pretty much the exact same shade as the bullet. Um, you can do the exact same thing with a lip liner, like I did earlier with the chocolate chip lip liner to kind of like mellow out the edges if you like to. I don't mind it. Like I said, I don't mind bright colors. It's just my preference, but you can if you definitely want to. As I'm taking this off, I forgot to mention that um, this one is also really pigmented as well. Most liquid lipsticks, especially of a lighter shade, I've already mentioned this on my channel, but requires two coats. So I put on my first coat, let it dry, I put on my second coat, let it dry. I asked for so much pigment to be poured into these shades, especially for the coral, because I don't wanna have to struggle and add multiple layers. Like all I did that one time is one layer, and that's that's what the, the lipstick looked like. All right guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. Just last minute details on the kit. Each set is gonna be $49. They're gonna be available on the Dose of Colors website on May 12th at 8 a.m. PST. Each set has the lip liner, liquid lipstick, lip gloss, and a bullet lipstick. They're vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, all that good stuff. I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on these. Like once you get them and you start playing with them, make sure you tag me or use the Dose of Colors X Nima Tang hashtag. I'm gonna be all up in that. I'm gonna be all up in that. So if you guys post it, tag me. I wanna see and I wanna share and I can't wait for you guys to get this. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I can't believe it's here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love, and I will see you guys next time.